Welcome to a Marian moment as we pause daily to prepare ourselves to welcome Christ into our hearts during Advent. I am Father Dan Cambro of the Marians of the Immaculate Conception, praying with you from the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. During Advent, I would like you to join me daily at this website to reflect upon the Word of God, the wisdom of the saints, and to make a spiritual communion. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that was what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Father Kazimir Vizinski, one of the members of my community from the 18th century, serving in Portugal, composed several prayers. And one of his prayers, I think, is especially important for us, and that is asking God's blessing upon our undertakings. Mary certainly had a great undertaking, and Elizabeth certainly had almost as important an undertaking as her son would be the precursor of Christ our Savior. In our own day, we sometimes forget to pray. Sometimes we forget to pray grace at meals because we're in a public place, a restaurant, and we think we don't want to draw our attention to ourselves. But precisely in saying grace in public settings is a time for us to witness to the importance of our faith, how it means something to us, how it guides us through our day. And so I ask you to pray with me this prayer of Father Kashmir Wyszynski. Most gracious and merciful Jesus, have mercy on your church, have mercy also on this place where we come together. Bring it about that sincere peace, genuine humility, and magnanimous love may always reign in our midst. Support us with your grace that we may conduct ourselves with dignity, serve you faithfully, love you, and be pleasing to you. To your mercy we commend all our works, concerns, and occupations. Ever keep on imparting your blessing upon us. Grant us the grace of persevering in your service to the very end. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Father Casimir had such an impact on the community in which he lived in northern Portugal that to this very day almost a quarter of all the men in that area are called Casmiro, not a typical Portuguese name, I assure you. Maybe we, in some small way, can have an effect on our loved ones, our children, our grandchildren. Maybe we can guide them by our holiness to seek holiness in their lives, to seek God's blessing in their undertakings, in their studies and occupations. Please join me in making the spiritual communion of St. Alphonsus Liguri. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to have you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
as though you were already here, I embrace you and invite myself wholly to you. Oh, let me start that again, may I? Sure. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to have you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already here, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you.